My name is James Ejenim Boateng, and I'm coming from the office of the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Well, I, the, I, I think that if you look at the geopolitical positioning of Turkey, um, it's in a very strategic um, region. It is closer to Asia. Uh, on the one hand, it's culture and way of life. It's closer to Europe. They occupy a very strategic um, region. It is accessible to Asia, accessible to Europe, accessible to Africa. And again, it, has, it occupies a region with a huge market size. So you certainly cannot downplay the role that Turkey plays in, 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 in the way of globalization today, which is pretty why um, we, you can find in this summit people com coming from all over um, the world. Um, in the region, the role of Turkey, how people cohabit and the harmony, the unity, the sense of love. It is sad to say that in this region, it is not everywhere that can boast of a level of stability that your country, Turkey, Turkey has. So I do believe that is a role model, is a shining example, particularly to countries in their sub-region and also beyond to see the value of unity, of peace, of stability, of working together, which is also why perhaps we are beginning to see the way Turkey is beginning to pan out in the area of its influence around the globe, economically, and in the world of tourism and all of that. Back home in Ghana, we have in common Ghana and Turkey. And again, that also explains why not too long ago, the president of Ghana was here. Ahead of that, the president of Turkey, uh, President uh, Go was in Accra and today as we speak the Vice President of Ghana is here in Istanbul so we have closer and deepening relations with the government and the Republic of Turkey and it makes no difference whether you subscribe to Islamic faith or Christian faith at the end of the day people must have a right to worship the God of their choosing but I think that God is universal. I think that, I mean, the, the attributes or whatever, the virtues that the Quran espouses, those same virtues may be found in the Bible and all of that. So there, there are absolutely no difficulties at all. I think we need to rise above looking at people in the realms of religion and looking at them as human beings and dealing with them on the basis of that and not on what religion they subscribe to. Thank you very much. I am most grateful speaking to A9 television as well.